Um, thank you for coming in today. Uh, we would love to get a little bit of an update on where your startup is and how successful you've been in the last couple of months. Okay. Um, so uh, we had an early stage start startup uh, of the nanowire technology. Uh, we want to use this nanowire technology to um, to help people in the uh, anti counterfeiting field, mm -hmm. um, so that this this technology would be um, uh, cannot be um, forged by anybody. It is high security, and hopefully, it is very easy to use as well. Um, and we are very early stage, so um, I had this very good you know, chance to, to join uh, women, investing women uh, in the past few months and I liked it a lot. Um, the women, uh, investing women pitch, um, it was a wonderful opportunity for me. Um, it was actually the first time um, that I talk in front of so many women because I am a grad student in UCSD physics department and the, most of the time I talk to a lot of men Right, so because in physics there's only you know about 10% women, so um, it was an amazing experience for me. Really, it's wonderful. Uh, it feels really different when you talk to a room of women rather than you talk to a room of men. Yeah. So it it feels like more supportive and. Um, more exciting and more more cozy kind of things. <laughs> even though you were up on stage, yes, and, though, and very <laughs> yes, yes. I was a little nervous, but I can feel the energy in the room that yeah. um, people look at me differently than oh, normally. Okay. I was um, so that was interesting, and also um, so because there's a pitch. I think I I didn't before the pitch. Actually, I didn't expect to you know win the prize. But luckily I did, so um, that was you know wonderful for me as well. Um, I didn't expect to win because um, we're so early stage, and all the other women they have amazing startups, and they already have some already have revenues, and uh, they are more mature than us. So um, people decided to give this prize to me. I feel like very you know um, honored, and this, it's, it's a good surprise. So um, it's a good uh, enc encouragement for me as well. So that um, it encouraged me that I have a lot of support and people actually like what we're doing right now. So um, I think we're just um, gonna keep up the good work. Awesome. I think that what the audience really loved was that it's a fresh opportunity. Like it's it's a great product and has a huge market and a huge impact on that market. So I think that that's what they love to, not just you, you were awesome on stage, <laughs> um, but I think that it was really great to see that that huge opportunity just right in front of us as an audience. Yes, yes, because this nanotechnology actually is not widely used right now. It is um, very like cutting edge technology. Um, it is, uh, most, most of the, the applications are right now still in the R&D stage. Mm -hmm. More like, most of them are in research stage actually. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't see um, like nanowire techno nano technology on market right now. Mm -hmm. So that's why we call it future technology. It might be like, it's not like tomorrow we'll be on a market. It's most probably five years or so. Mm -hmm. um, the product gonna be ready. Um, but you know, when it happens, it's gonna be great. Yeah, it's awesome. Did anything else happen from the Women Investing in Women Summit? Um, any of the judges came up to you afterwards? And yeah. Any funding? Yeah, was uh, anybody in the audience were kind of yeah, interested? Yeah. So after the pitch, actually, um, a lot of people approached me. Good. That was very okay. amazing. So I was like feeling like a star or something. <laughs> <laughs> and the people like talked to me, and they they are very um, you know kind and eager to you know help out. Um, introducing people to me, giving their name cards and everything. Um, and actually, there are a couple investors actually talked to us. Um, one asked to send over our slides and materials so they can, okay. you know, try to help out with the connections and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and also, uh, we were, we've been talking to somebody uh, after that, and uh, some lady introduced uh, like a potential CEO for us. Oh, good. Okay. And um, we've been talking uh, about you know sorting out the potential risks, 
um, and also what are the challenges, you know, we have, we have to lay it apart like what is software, hardware, you know, market, customer, you know, you have to lay out the risks and challenges for each of them. Um, and also brainstorming about the applications as well. So that was, you know, what is currently going on. So we've been in this conversation and hopefully it will lead somewhere. That's awesome. I always say that, you know, pitch sessions, sometimes you think, oh, it's just about, let's say, getting a prize money or something like that, or something that's very concrete, but it's all the after thoughts and after meetings and after connections yes. that are so valuable to anybody. So thank yes. you for sharing that. That's so awesome. um, that uh, the potential CEO that the people we're talking to, actually, he's very experienced. And we've never been talking, you know, before we were, you know, only at school, you know, grad students only at school. So uh, we don't have, you know, the business, the market sense, or we lack of that training. Mm -hmm. um, so talking to this, he, he's a CEO himself for mm -hmm. his own company. Mm -hmm. So talking to him actually really opened up, you know, the views for us because he's very experienced and he has, he's very visionary. Mm -hmm. So he shared a lot of insights to, um, what our technology can be in the future and that was very inspiring. Good, good. So what's next for you? What, um, what's the next six months going to look like for you? So for me, I guess in the short term, I'm going to be, you know, keep on these connections and conversation going, mm -hmm. you know, sort out the challenges and risks. Um, and also, at the same time, actually, uh, the short term, I'm struggling to finish my PhD. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be graduating, hopefully, you know, next six or nine months to get my when? PhD first. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, you know, I can, you know, roll full force in my career. Good. And different. then, did you go? Uh, are you going to go after any grants or any um, anything to get this startup going? Have you looked at any of those? Um, so we have been talking about this. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the concern is that because we are um, internationals, mm -hmm. so there are something complications regarding applying for the SBR grant, okay. which yeah. normally comes with the, the, the early stage technology yeah. Yeah. startups. Um, but uh, so we're thinking of some other ways mm -hmm. that we can get around that, um, and I think it's it's all based on like what people actually are helping us, okay. like what kind of people we're in touch and how what resources they have to help us with this thing. Right. Um, so one of the main thing is that um, we have to like narrow down and focus on the customer session. Um, because this application, like for, for us, we brainstormed this application from this nanowire technology, mm -hmm. but actually the, um, the, the customer, we haven't, you know, narrowed down to, okay. to the customer, you know, the focus market, mm -hmm. target market, uh, that well. Um, so we have to establish that before, mm -hmm. you know, we go for any real money. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. And one of the things that, that, that I've noticed here at Hera Hub is that since it is a very kind of serene environment, spa inspired and all that, we've had a couple of PhD students oh, that's nice. been able to come in here and actually finish their thesis because they can kind of get away from the lab wherever they are and get away and just write. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so I'm so glad that, that you're going to become a, a member for the next three months and you can use it and, um, and get that going. Nice. So.